Here are these two, well there's three, are practicing fighting in the plants. And that's tearing up the plants. So you have to be careful with this fighting and what it might do to your plants. But I'm glad that Malachi is no match for Luna and it's really actually hard on other cats if Luna fights with them. Malachi is a gentler spirit and so you see him hiding. You just spray water and they all leave him alone because they don't want to get sprayed. It's not healthy for, you can see Malachi's eyes are a little bit swollen from fighting so he's trying to kind of draw back. And please don't tell me to pick up this yard. I've done it a hundred times. This is a rescue house. And wind blows. People come out here and party at night, you know, and um, tear up the house. So I'll put these plants back and stuff. But this is a rescue house. It's unoccupied. And I do clean it as often as I have time for it. But it's not really my place. But if they do anything like tear up these plants, I try to discourage it. So let's go back to the kittens. So this morning exercise is important to the kittens for development. Now you would think that James Fearless here is small and you'd think he was okay to fight with people. He's actually one of the more vicious fighters. He's no match for Luna and Malachi, but um, he shouldn't be fighting with kittens. This is a bad neighborhood. People start early drinking and stuff. These guys are just practicing and it's really healthy for them. Because when they grow up, if they can't fight, now you see Snowball is small like um, Snowball is small, small like James Fearless is small. And James Fearless might be just saying, hey, someone might turn you over and do this move. So after cats eat breakfast, they do these maneuvers. And when you adopt a kitten, they never learn this stuff. And if you put them outside, they would be actually killed. So you, they do have to go through at least adolescence in a cat group. Um, I've, I've thought about doing like a cart, a cat daycare, like um, a cat daycare to teach cats these skills because it's very, very important. This is kind of a cool move. This is actually James Fearless's move to get inside this little glass house and protect his body. And that's how James Fearless survived his his adolescence. It's weird. Bruiser has just been fighting with his mom, but he's he for some reason Snowball, who is not afraid of anything, and I need to give him a new name. He is not a he's kind of afraid of Bruiser. I guess it's because of Bruiser, Bruiser's body size. But see, James Fearless is teaching him techniques. He doesn't really have his claws out. He's just teaching him techniques. That's enough. <laughs> it's crazy. Snowball was doing a warning to James Fearless because he's played with James Fearless longer. So they're learning how to hide and attack. It's so cute. This has to be learned by cats. If you adopt a kitten and they don't learn this, it's very unhealthy for them. You know, when you have a house cat in the house, you think, oh, a cat really wants to be inside the house. Yes, they do, but they want to go outside and play, and they have to learn how to survive outside. And again, this is an, a rescue house. So please don't tell me about the yard. 
Most rescues grab a kitten from their mother. They're not weaned. Uh, if you feed them, they're going to die because their sinuses get infection, infected. And then they adopt them out to someone's house for 50 or or $100. And those cats usually won't survive. And if they do, they, they really won't have the life skills that they need as a kitten. If you do adopt a kitten, it should be more in the age of, of um, this kitten where it's, he's, he's a teenager. This guy is a real problem, wolf. He snatches everybody's food. <laughs>